بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ آئی ایم یور انڈسٹریل پابیسی لیب ٹیچر آف فارم ڈی دا کوسٹ ہائٹر انڈسٹریل فارمیسی لیب کورس کوڈ ایس پی سی یو سکس ون زیرو لیٹ اسٹارٹ دا لیب نمبر ون entitled to determine the angle of repose of the given sample. The objectives of today practical is to learn about the angle of repose and its practical performance on given sample, either powder or granule, and also we will evaluate the effect of known quantity of gliden that is used on the already given material of the sample and their effect on the flow of the sample. It means that first we will determine the angle of repose of the given sample and then we will add a known quantity of gliden to that sample that we have already tested for angle of repose and will record the effect of that gliden on that sample. By performing this practical, dear students, you will be able to know about the following. That what is angle of repose? and what is the importance of angle of repose and how many methods are there for its determination and particularly how you will perform the angle of repose using fixed funnel method and how client show their effects on flow of powder or granule sample. Let's start from the definition. Angle of repose is the maximum angle possible between the surface of the pile of powder or granules and to the horizontal plane. It means that it is the angle between the surface of pile of powder that is formed and the horizontal plane. It is determined by using the formula theta is equal to tangent inverse 2h by d where theta is the angle of repose and h is the height of heap of sample and r is the radius of heap of sample. Here in the formula you see that theta is equal to tangent inverse 2h by d but r is the radius of heap. How we will determine r? r is the radius, it is the half of the diameter by dividing diameter by 2 we will get radius of the heap. Let's discuss different methods of angle of repose. There are three methods of angle of repose. First one is effect funnel method. The second method is tilting box method. And the third method that is revolving cylinder method. See the bottom two diagram. On the left side you can see a uh, funnel. And in that particular funnel it is shown that there are certain types of the powder or granules as a sample and uh, they are going to flow from that particular funnel and forming a heap or pile and uh, having the height edge and to the plane also R that is radius and on the right side it is shown that 
it is uh, the angle between the surface of the pile or heap to the horizontal plane by shown on the right side of the diagram that is the block diagram showing the funnel and the heap forming from that flowing of a powder or sample from the funnel to the surface of horizontal plane and h is shown that is height and theta is also shown that is the angle possible between these two that is the heap and the horizontal plane and d is also shown that is diameter and we required the radius r half of d uh, diameter is uh, radius now our requirements will be funnel funnel stand sample graph paper gradient and calculator etc our procedure will be so that a funnel we will take a funnel having orifice of 20 mm diameter and uh, that particular funnel wall will form angle of 65 degree with the uh, horizontal plane the distance between the tip of the funnel we have selected and paper kept for heap formation is uh, kept 2 cm while the powder was poured through it first of all we will take the sample before incorporation of the sample in the funnel the tip of the funnel will be plugged with the cotton then the powder is allowed to free flow after removing the cotton plug at the funnel definitely it will form a heap on the horizontal plane where we have already put a graph paper in order to determine the diameter when the powder touch the tip of the funnel we will uh, determine the height of the heap and uh, the radius of the heap by putting these in the previous formula theta is equal to tangent inverse 2h by d we will determine the angle of the pole the same procedure will be also repeated after adding non amount of the gradient to the sample and similarly the height and the diameter the plugging of the tip of the funnel and the same procedure will be repeated initially the sample taken procedure will be repeated three times and their average will be determined and in the second page the same procedure will be repeated after addition of the non amount of gradient it is it will be also repeated for three times and by putting the values in the formula we will get the angle of repose and their average will be determined this is the table for the flow properties and corresponding angle of repose according to the united states pharmacopeia that uh, but uh, what type of flow behavior or flow property will be shown when the angle of repose were kept on the right side excellent the first one the first column that is the uh, excellent in the first row uh, 25 to 30 and angle of repose is taken in 8 degrees from top to bottom uh, we will see that uh, excellent flow behavior was shown by the sample having the value 25 to 30 and the values are increasing from top to bottom while the flow behavior will be come poorer from excellent to good 
and pair that is add is not required or possible may be hang up or poor must agitate vibrate very poor very very poor that is uh, above 66 degree it means that the low value of the angle of the pole it means that it shows excellent property and respect to the flow how you will get results i have already told you that how you will get results by putting the formula putting the results uh, putting the values in the formula to take the result and how you will conclude the conclusion will be made by consulting the united state pharmacopeia table and the decision will be made and it is a guidance for a sample that it is a good flow or it is excellent flow or it is poor flow it needs gradient it needs how much gradient the addition of gradient is based on that angle of the pole because angle of the pole guide us about the flow properties if already the flow behavior is satisfactory then there is a negligible amount of gradient will be added if the flow behavior is not good it must be recommended to add gradient to facilitate the flow from the heart of half or two uh, filling area or the compression that is necessary the material should appropriate flow thank you for your attention inshallah we will perform this practical in the laboratory as well thank you for your attention